Okay, so welcome back gentlemen to this new tutorial. So now what I'd like to do is to work on the bottom of our bridge. So far you can see that it looks boring. And also got this reference over here, I'd like to make it uh, work on this challenge. Also, I would really appreciate if you can check the long form my tutorial on the website realityfakers.net to support the channel and my work. All right, so let's get to work. So th the idea of this is we're gonna be creating just one unit. Like you know, we have this N, shape like this and we're going to be duplicating it a lot of times and we're going to be making some tweakings over here all right so let's get to work okay so what i'd like to do is to start first by that shape so we're going to be creating that shape but before doing that let's create a plane so shift a shift uh let's use a plane and let's scale it up something like this and also let's scale it on the x-axis as x by 10 so this one is the top of our bridge gonna be taking it up a little bit and let's work on the bottom side. So as I said, I would like to create just one unit, one unit like the end shape, and we're gonna be duplicating it a lot of times. Okay, so I'm gonna start by uh, using uh, the cube. So Shift A, mesh cube like this. Okay, let's zoom on it, period, on the numpad. And let's see. Okay, so let me scale X. I'm gonna scale it down like this, make it very thin, just like that. But also as you can see, it has some depth to it. So let's give it 0.5, something like this would be fine. Okay, maybe uh, a little bit down like this, scale X, very nice. All right, so let's switch to the side view. And what we can do from here is we need to duplicate it, Shift D, uh, duplicate it, and R, Y, spin it by, let's say, uh, 30 degrees, minus 30 degrees like this and let's move it to the side like this i uh, think okay let's just keep working we're gonna be uh, assessing the final the final uh, result afterwards so let's just duplicate this one and let's put it right over here but also we need to uh, activate the the snap tool to the vertex let's snap it for example over here and this one let's snap it right over there okay so now let's find a way to make the connection so for example, we can uh, insert on the edge mode, insert control R and let's bring this one down to this location and control R, let's add another one to this location. Okay. And let's try this. I'm gonna select them both using the shift and control J to join those two pieces. And let's select these two faces and hit control E and uh, bridge edge loops. This one, bridge edge loops. Now we have that connection, but I don't like the bottom side. But we can do something like this. We can, for example, select this edge and move it down. Maybe forward a little bit. Okay, we can switch to the side so that you can see what we got. Okay, something like this. Or, uh, not sure. I think that's fine. No worries to, no need to complicate the, the, the same. Okay, also over here, uh, we can do the same thing for the top. So let's join, let's join all these pieces. On the edit mode, let's insert that edge loop, snap it to the top, control R, snap this one to the bottom. So I think there is a better way to do this. There is no need to complicate this, this matter. You can just bring this one inside like this. Yes, exactly. There's no need to make it complex. Okay. Also for this object over here, let's just, uh, can just, you know what? Uh, okay, let me just delete these. Okay, L, just like that unit, text deleted, and select this one, Shift D, let's move it outside, snap it inside. Okay, so we got our end shape. So now what we need to do is to, uh, but as you can see, we have it inverted over here. We have the N over here and on the other side this inversion. So this is our pivot point. We're going to make it to this point. Okay. But I think we need to scale it a little bit on the Y axis. Something like this. Now it looks fine. Okay. So let's uh, maybe, maybe uh, also scale it on the Z, make it tall a little bit. You can see it's like, uh, it's kind of expanded. Okay. So now let's add the array modifier. So let's add the array modifier exactly on the X axis. But as you can see, we got an issue. So I don't want to have a duplication over there. So what we can do is we can simply delete this one, delete that face. And uh, man, what do we have to 
grab this one, move it forward like this and bring it down. Now we're good. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, let's add a ray modifier, for example, for 20. Or we can count that. We can make, we can make a good estimation. So the pivot point is right over here. So we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can, we can make 20. So between these columns, we have 20 of these N shapes. Exactly like this. So let's start with the 10. Because it's, it's a good approach to keep the scale correct. So since we're going to be creating just one unit, so let's set it back to 10. I don't, I'm not sure about this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe 12. Let's go with 12. 12 is good. Okay. So now what we need to do is to add uh, the, other, the other objects. So for example, we can add the bottom side. Let me just add it from here. You can simply select this one. Shift D. Easy. Go down. Z. And let's take this face also EX and let's go forward just like that. Okay, and also we can do this. We can select these two and we can, for example, hit E and go outside just a little bit to make that, that thin over there. Also on the bottom. Let's see. Yeah, now it looks fine. But also, as you can see, we have this N shape on the bottom side. So we need to add it as well. But I'm not sure if we should duplicate this one on the other side. So whether if we have another one on the back side. You can check it from here. Not sure to be honest. You know what? Let's do that and we will see. So I'm going to scale this one down a little bit. On the edit mode, select everything. Shift D. Let's move it over here. Okay then. Maybe a little bit over there. Okay. Shift D. Rx by 90 degree and let's go to the top view switch over there and let's let's for example snap this one right over there okay you can also select this one all these components G to make sure that we are selecting everything and control E to reverse the selection let's move this one for example right there okay so let's see yeah now it looks fine Okay, we can select back all these units. Control E again. Let's move this one down. Also, as you can see, we need to make it thinner. You can see that. That bottom side is very thin. So SZ.5. Okay, and let's bring it down. I think now we got something good. But probably we need to expand it. Or maybe not. I think we have another unit on the middle. We just want a uh, column. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but it's going to work anyway. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do right now is... Okay, let me just think. Uh, also, as you can see, we have some kind of stairs. So the more details you add, the better. So I'm, I'm planning to add that as well. So over here, uh, maybe we can do something like this. We can add... So shift A, cursor just selected, shift, uh, shift S first, shift S to put that cursor over there, shift A, uh, oops, shift A, and let's bring it plane. Okay, let me just scale it down, and we're going to be creating just like a path, so that we can allow people to walk in there. So let's move this one to the side, I think. Uh, not sure, to be honest, because I don't see anything over here. But... We definitely have something that allows people, workers, to take a walk in between this uh, columns, just to fix the lamps or fix anything that goes wrong. Okay, so uh, let me just find a way to add that because it's going to be better. Okay, and also I still remember, I've watched some scenes. I still remember a movie of Denzel Washington. He made a, he made a, pur he made a uh, purchase. purchase. Chase. He was chasing some guy, which is, uh, I think the other guy is John Travolta. Yeah, he was chasing him right over here. So we can just, uh, I'm thinking. 
you know what let's add first shift d check this one up a little bit s y let's scale it way down like this and hit e go up okay then so we got that unit s shift x let's scale it down like this and let's move it to the side just like that uh, but also let's uh let's duplicate it shift d move it down like this okay maybe a little bit down and we can insert for example or just five five edge loops oops no well, that's Control R, let's add five edge loops. Same thing over here, five. Okay, Control B, point one. Okay, but also I forgot we need to do that first, but no, that's fine. So Alt Shift and select all these rows. Okay, so Control B, point one. Okay, we got that, and now let's select all these faces. And we're going to be connected them to the faces on the top. Okay, just like this. Okay, we forgot this one. Let me check. I think we are selecting everything. Okay, so Control E and bridge edge loops. And now we got that stairs. Okay, so with the one we're going to be adding that curvy shape, it's going to look even better. But now I think let's just roll with it. But also I think we must duplicate this item. And move it to the other side. Shift D. And let's snap it right there. Okay then, so we can we can get back from here and see. Actually, it doesn't look that good, but we'll see. We'll see how it's going to turn out. Okay then, so what's next? We have these supporting columns on the top of our end shape. Like this. So let's add that. Let's search add something like that. Okay, so starting by, I'm going to simply select this face, Shift D, and move it to exactly this location, and hit E and go up. And let's snap it to the top. Maybe that's too much. So we can, for example, select this one, bring it up a little bit. Select this face, and let's snap it right to the top. Okay then, so we got that. So also we can add this other column. So I'm I'm trying to not add too much details to these shapes. So for example, you can see this this uh, object over here. It has some insets, but uh, adding more details gonna cost it's gonna cost us really uh, really uh, bad in the in the performance of our uh, of our uh, scene. So once we're gonna start rendering, it's gonna take a lot because we're gonna be duplicating this object probably hundreds of times so there is no need to make it complex okay so shift d and also let's uh, shift d ey and let's go back like this and we can for example select this object move it down a little bit okay just like that okay let's move this one back maybe let's scale so s shift y No, actually, we are, yeah, there is no need to make it like that, so okay. So something like this will be just fine. Okay, so we got that, so what we need to do right now is to just uh, duplicate it a lot of times. So, for example, let's, uh, or you know what, you know, let's, let's make it curvy. But I'm not convinced, I think we need to add more stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to duplicate this object, Shift D move it outside and what I'd like to do is uh, for example we can uh, let's give it 20 20 over here I think 20 is decent yeah so which is 40 on the on the top okay so this one I'm gonna just hide it let's call it uh, uh, part one or yeah part one and I'm gonna just hide it we can revert to it back if we messed up this new object so over here, I'm going to just apply this one. I'm thinking, is it all? Okay, let's just apply it and let's switch to the side over here. And what we, what we need to do is to make this tweaking on the end. So I'm going to just grab 
this edge like this or you know what let's let's go to the side view side view like this and z so to the wireframe and we can select the entire unit like this okay so now let's apply or let's enable this proportion editor and let's see what we got is this what we need no actually this is not what we need we need to make it look sharp so let's switch over here to the sphere nope not at all what about the sharp yeah the sharp will, will be fine yeah actually this is what we need the sharp view but as you can see we must not messed up the bottom side you can see that we need to keep the the top uh these straight just like this okay so in order to do that i'm going to be uh, making uh, slight changes for, for here so moving it down a little bit try to increase that that circle but not uh but not exceeding this part just like this even more okay maybe what's what's gonna happen let me try so i th I, th I think we need to affect one to to reach a four yeah so we need to reach this point so for that i think what we need to do is to grab all these and let's go down but actually we need to revert back a little bit okay B and let's go down and let's keep it doing that uh, let's see I think it's going better yeah but over here uh, I like to keep it straight a little bit not straight but I like to have a nice turn so I'm gonna take this one up a little bit okay and this one maybe down on its own okay then let me just see it looks a little bit messed up you can see that obvious from here but i think we can roll with this one this one it looks fine okay okay so now let's let's try this so i'm gonna add the ray uh the, the mirror modifier okay so we got it automatically on the x-axis which is fine so i'm gonna add another one so let's add another mirror modifier but what i'd like to do is to duplicate it make it over here so for that what I'd like what i need to do is to change the, the the pivot point this one so for example we can do something like taking this edge this point shift d moving it oops we need to deactivate that let's move this point over here i think this is the end uh this is the middle so shift s cursor to that point and x and let's delete that vertex okay so now we're going to change that object set origin and origin to the 3d cursor okay we got it and also for the second one let's change that so once we change it to the y-axis we got it by default which is awesome so now we can see the bottom side of our bridge it looks awesome okay so also we can add the middle the middle part so for the middle part i'm thinking so let me just try something quick real quick over here so we're about selecting all these units from here we're just selecting just one side shift d let's try to move it to the middle like this and let's hit e y let's go outside but also let's enable that clipping so that we won't gonna go like this so yeah as you can see we're transpassing to the other side so once we check this clipping gonna stop us right at the middle just like that now i think it looks even better yeah we got that excellent okay so now let's just connect it to the bottom of our bridge as you can see we need to scale it up so scale by three s3 okay, even more let me go to the top view and let me check 
yeah I think we are on the right spot okay so we must not worry about the bottom side about the top side of our for a road so we're just making this object okay so we got that so from here what we can do is also i think we got a problem yep we got a problem so basically we need to add that end of that end shape yeah i see so we can for example uh do click select alt to select that row shift d and let's snap it right over there also, let's switch to the wireframe. Let's grab those to the bottom side. And these to the top. Okay then, so now we must have it. Okay, so now let's add let's add uh, this bottom side, this object, this concrete object. Okay, so let's work on it. But before doing that, let me just add another array modifier forward. Okay, to just see what we got. I think it looks fine. Yeah, I like it. I like it so far. Yeah. So we can just cut this one. Let's just move it like that. And this one. I have a dog barking. Let me just close the window. One second, please. The balcony window. Okay. The balcony door. Okay. So from here, uh, I think we got that unit. Double unit. Okay. So let's work on the bottom side. So first, let's put the cursor right on the middle. Also over here, I'm thinking, uh, what about creating just one unit? Well, you know what, there is no need to do that. So Shift S, cursor to select it. Exit that mode, so Shift A, and let's start with the cube. Let's scale it way up, something like this. So we can, uh, as you can see, it's covering almost all the shape of our wires. Something like this, and let's move it down. Snap it to the bottom side. Okay, we got that. Maybe a little bit. Let's move it up a little bit. To make that connection, smooth connection. Okay, let's switch to the side and let's decrease it way down. So scale X, just something like this. Okay, on the bottom side, let me just select this face. And S, Y, let's get it like this. Okay then, so we got that. Also for this. You can see that that inset so control r to add that edge loop take it all the way to the top and let's make it move it down okay also i think it's good approach to just model the health i'm gonna just cut this one by half and let's delete all of these okay switch back to the solid view and what we need to do is for example we can insert to edge loop over here Okay, select these edges, bring them back. Fine, right click, shade smooth. Or you know what, let's get back to the flat. We're gonna be doing that later on. So from here, let's add this inset. So add this one like this, S, Y, set it to zero. Okay, maybe move it a little bit to that side. Select that face, hit E, go inside. So let me just delete these faces. Same thing for this one. Gonna be adding another base on the bottom. You can see that. Also over here, I think, I'm gonna just add another edge loop over there and let me just delete uh, the back side. So there is no need to, so we can use the mirror modifier to duplicate it like that. Okay, also for the bottom, these bottom faces, we don't need them because we're going to be adding a base again. And over here, we need to make this turn, this door, or something like that. So for that, we can do this. So let me just put the cursor right over there. Exit edit mode, shift A, and let's bring cylinder shape. Okay, let's set it, okay, let's keep it at 32. So R, Y, 9 degree, S by 5, scale it by 5. Okay, let's also switch the wireframe so that we can see these edges. So as you can see, it's very close to this edge. So let me just move it up. Let's get way up to something like this. And move it down. Okay, so this edge is this one. You can see that I gave it some space over there. 
and also over here as you can see the, the churn is really big the cylinder churn okay so what we need to do from here is let's use the boolean modifier but before doing that we need to make a, a quick quick tip so i'm gonna select these x delete those vertex select these easy and go down just like that so i'll select all of those hit f to fill those gaps fill those gaps okay so now what we need to do is to use the boolean modifier to make a cut inside this unit so let's add the boolean modifier so this is our boolean modifier and let's select this object okay but also let's uh make it let me just switch this one to the fast i think this fast will work okay so let's just apply this one apply that select this object on the edit mode i'm gonna just delete the extra stuff x delete c uh, let's select all of these c select the bottom sides x delete okay so now let's just delete this object and now we got that chart it looks interesting it looks fine okay so from here what we need to do is select these oops we don't we need to select the bottom the top one and hit e x and uh, shift tab to enable that this uh, this uh, snap tool and let's snap it just like that so now i think it's in the right spot okay so what we need to do from here is to add that uh, mirror modifier four times so we got it on the back and uh, let's check this one to have it on the y-axis as well so now we got our object which is looking really good okay so what we can do from here is we can do some tweakings because now right now we have some sharp edges which is not good for uh, for the light reflection since we got some lighting over here so what we need to do is to add the bevel let me try to add the bevel tool this one okay so we got that so let me check the scale so you can see the scale is a joke 9 to 35 so control a you can see the change over here we don't we have some distortion on these edges so control a and apply the scale now in need to select this object first control a apply the scale and now it looks better okay so we can increase the amount of that bevel from here increase it to something like 0.5 meters okay increase the segments to three right click shade smooth but also in order to avoid these over here because as you can see we have a smooth turn you can switch this one to the angle and by default we forgot that okay and also i must delete this bottom side okay so we have a clean mesh and i think we achieved that same uh, shape also for example over here we can do something alt to select the entire row and we can for example hit ctrl b box select not box select but to bevel that but i think we're gonna just messed up this location you can see that we're gonna be having some problems so ctrl z i'm gonna just revert back and i think i'm gonna just keep it like this also as, as as you can see i'm seeing some sharp so we're lucky with having that sharp as well okay so let's add the base and let's finish working on this object so shift s cursor is selected shift a let's start with the q I'm gonna move it down like this scale up scale on the z axis to something like this okay let's snap it right over there and also let's make some cuts so cut over here and another cut like that so all i need is just these one quarter of our object so control e to reverse the selection x and delete those faces okay so from here what we need to do is to just uh bring this one forward a little bit something like this and also we can uh, shift and select the other object and control j and all the modifiers that we apply to this object is going to be applied to the new object as well okay so also for this one i'd like to make it a little bit curvy so i'm gonna bring this one forward a little bit like this and also we can do something Control r bring this guy forward okay it looks fine so right click sheet smooth maybe this guy let's bring it back a little bit okay 
I like it. It has fewer details, but it looks fine. Okay, let me just select these three, two, bring them a little bit closer. I think now we're good, yeah. Okay, so back to our scene, you can see the final result over here. It looks really nice. I like how it turned out. Also, we're gonna be making an animation out of it later on. For now, let's just uh, keep adding, making it even better and better. 